This is Tyler with Power Tank, and we're looking at our line of Ventoso tire inflators. First thing you'll notice is uh, they come now with a protective case. Uh, we make a multitude of different Ventoso tire inflator models because every tire has different needs. These heavy duty tires on our tow rig need higher pressures than you would use on your Overlander rock crawler. Uh, we also have tire inflators for dually wheels and all sorts of different uh, valve stems. We've been making the longest lasting tire inflators on the market because we use exceptionally high quality components like these stainless steel braided lines with swivels on both ends. We use really high quality fittings and air chucks and our air chucks are rebuildable. Same thing with our high pressure cast body. You can pull out the piston, clean it out, service it, get new O-rings from us. Uh, all the parts are available. We can keep these going for a long time and they're backed by a five-year warranty. Another new feature we have are dual bleed buttons. Uh, they are also larger than you'll find on any other tire inflator, which means that if you overshoot your target, you can dial it back very quickly and it's comfortable for both hands. It is a really high quality trigger, uh, brass piston, EPDM O-rings, again, for that durability and that really great feel. And then uh, one of the most important parts, of course, is your gauge. You want a really large, easy to read, highly accurate gauge. You'll see a lot of our competitors maybe only selling one model of tire inflator, and they claim it can do all the tires, but that means that they're making sacrifices. These high pressure tires require a high pressure gauge, but that high pressure gauge is gonna be less accurate for when you need to air down to single digits on your rock crawler. That's why we make so many different models. Every model is for a specific type of uh, tire or vehicle. This is our long haul safety series. It uses the same zero to 160 silicone filled analog gauge as our standard long haul. Uh, we use silicone because it has better cold weather performance. And it has the six foot safety series stainless steel whip. This whip uh, gives you standaway safety because if you're airing up a tire that you suspect might, be have, uh, might have damage on it, uh, you want to stay far away in case of a blowout. Hey, since we filmed those videos, we've actually made a really cool improvement to all of our Ventosa tire inflators. So check it out. I'm going to pull it out of this ammo bag case. And ta-da, we have our new Hippo 2. This is the high pressure push on chuck version 2. Some of the feedback that we heard from our Hippo 1 chuck is that it didn't fit on all wheels and all valve stems. So went to the drawing board and said, okay, how can we improve this? We made it narrower so it fits in recessed valve stem holes. We made the bite shorter so it fits on short valve stems. And we added deeper ridges so it's easier to grip when you have cold, cold hands or gloved hands. So let's take a look at this demo over here. We have three Schrader valves. I'm gonna show you the bite depth of a standard European clip-on. The Hippo 1, see it's much deeper, needs uh, all that extra length, and here is the Hippo 2. It's actually shorter than the European clip-on, and so the next question I'm sure you're going to ask is, can I use this new Hippo 2 with my Apex valve stems? And we're proud to say that. Yes, fits perfectly. So again, this is standard on all Ventosa models going forward. And uh, if you have the big kahuna, you can get this nice 45 degree angle again, so we fit more wheels. Hey, that's it. <laughs> that was too much. <laughs>